Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Gemini? Cool. Now, I do love readings, Gemini. So love can obviously be romantic. Um, love could be a new friend. I see a lot of comments. Can this be a past person coming back with new energy? Yes, of course. Use your intuition. Use your discernment. You know best. Um, but let's see. We have justice and we have the six of cups. The last three signs have been getting the six of cups. So again, could be someone who you already have history with who's coming back to balance things out here. Um, if it's not, it's a brand new person you've never met before. There's just going to be this feeling of you already know each other. Things feel off balance for this person when you're not around, Gemini, is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the Justice card. We have the Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups. This person wants to let you know they really enjoy their time with you. They have a good time. They feel good. They It feels like time flies. Um, this person, I feel like, really likes that you, Gemini, speak your mind. That you... <laughs> now, this could be for a lot of people, but if you like to um, say go out and... Uh, like if you drink and you you say things in a different way when you're drinking versus not again could, that could be a lot of us this person like likes that about you like there's something about the way you're saying it or something like that um, if not this person just sees you as someone who really enjoys life you're always in the moment um, I feel like you also tell it how it is to the people you care about, the people that are in your circle. Even if your circle is very small, you're like, okay, I'm always going to tell the truth. I'm always going to let you know, like, I think you should do this or not do this, or this is what I think is a good idea or not a good idea. This person just sees you as fun loving, fun loving. And they feel off balance when you two are not around each other. Like they look forward to conversation here with you. This Justice and this Ace of Swords both being upright. I feel like this person, you know, has a strong desire to be honest with you too. They don't want to lie. They don't want to, um, you know, trick you in any way. But they're they're feeling good here. They feel like you bring a good energy and they want to bring the same to you. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who wants to reach out. Who wants at the very minimum friendship here who's very curious about you right so again whether this is someone you um, feel like is coming back with new energy or someone brand brand spanking new brand new can be you know a week you just met them brand new could be you know I've only known them for a month for six months for only a year everyone's new is going to be different um, Gemini so take it as it resonates but either way there's just there's someone here who's like I enjoy my time with you, Gemini. It feels weird when we're not together. We have a really great time together. I feel like we have great conversation. You always just say it how it is. Like there's just a lot of things this person likes about you. Um, again, even if it is just friendship here. So we have Libra energy there. Is there anything else from how this person feels about Gemini? The Knight of Wands. This person could feel like you're kind of flighty. Like you're a little bit like, I'm just gonna do what I do in the moment um maybe ne not necessarily looking for something committed here they could feel like you're sort of spontaneous you're just like here today gone tomorrow maybe you travel a lot or you just are like kind of always doing something with that three of cups maybe you have a big 
a group of people that you like to go out with or there's again that small circle that like, like you are always together I wanted to say you three so maybe it is three of you but you th you in this group are always together so this person can kind of see you as a little bit like um, not rooted in anything like you're just gonna do what you feel in the moment here um, Sometimes the Knight of Wands can represent like a player, right? Like someone who's hot and cold, someone who sends like, could send mixed messages here. Um, they're just, you, like you just get off this energy, like you're not setting roots down anywhere. You're just kind of doing what you're doing and taking it day by day. Um, that's the energy you give this person. So let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Wow, we got the Knight of Cups, so definitely coming forward here. Um, temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's like this person's going to make some sort of move here to let you know I'm interested in you, I care about you, I want to see where this can go. But they're definitely taking their time because they're overthinking here as well. Tell me about that Eight of Swords. The Magician. And the Ace of Wands. You know, it's interesting because especially if this is romantic, this person definitely thinks about how physically attracted they are to you and that, you know, what a physical connection could look like. But there's this energy here where they're like, they don't want to come off to you like that's all they're after. Like that's all they're trying to get from you. This person is actually really interested in you. This is like a very romantic gesture. This is going out for dinner, planning something nice. This is just like something really sweet that this person will do that makes you feel like, wow, okay, like I didn't know they felt that way. Or maybe you did and they finally are, are saying it, right? They want to show you that they're, they'll take their time here. They're really worried about coming across like they're wanting more from you here now i don't know if this is because um you know you've been in a situation like that before or you've just shared something with them where you're like usually people you know start off nice and then they're not or something like that but this person really worries about that they don't want you to think they're trying to manipulate you here while they would love to have some sort of physical connection here with you they they're like that's not all it is anything else about the eight of swords um so yeah definitely yeah five Five of Wands here, Nine of Cups. This is someone who's like, I'm not trying to mess this up. I'm not trying to start a fight. I'm not trying to ruin anything. I'm not trying to cause drama or tension between us because this is like my, you check a lot of boxes for this person here, Gemini. So they're like, I am really not trying to screw this up in any way, shape or form here. They, they, this person doesn't like confrontation. They might actually avoid it at all costs. There could even be like a little bit of people pleasing from this person. Um, so if they say want to, I don't know, say if they suggest somewhere to go and you're like, no, actually I'd really like to go here. Even if their heart was set on the first place, they'll be like, okay, yeah, sure, no problem. And they'll just go with what you want. Um, they, they're, yeah, this person avoids confrontation like pretty much at all costs here. So they all just do whatever it is. Not that they won't have a good time at that suggested place that you say, um, Gemini, but the point is, is that this person is kind of like a yes person. Like they kind of say yes all the time, even when they don't want to. Um, they just want to make you happy here because they feel like, wow, like I found someone who is, again, checking all these boxes for me. Do I check the boxes for, for Gemini? Um, Tell me about the Knight of Cups and King of Wands. This is someone who's trying to impress you. They're really trying to impress you. They're trying to show you that they're confident, that they can be sort of like suave here is what I'm getting. Like a bit of like, you know, um, that they're mature, that they're, you know, secure in who they are, that they're, yeah, they just want you to see this confidence in them. But in reality, this person actually overthinks quite a bit and they don't want you to uh, be angry with them or upset with them because this person does not like confrontation. Some people, you know, get into fight mode when a, when, when a conflict arises. Some people get into uh, freeze where they do nothing. Some people get into fawn where they're like, okay, I'll just do whatever you say. I feel like that's this person. I feel like they're like a, like a person who goes into fawn. Um, so just be aware of that, but they could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, 
Um, you also have Libra energy there, but yeah, someone here is definitely very interested in you. So expect a message here. And if you're sitting there like there's absolutely no one in my life, there's no way this is a past person. I mean, aces represent new coming in there out of nowhere. Things can happen, right? It could be at an event or something with that three of cups, maybe through a friend. Um, maybe on a dating app, you, you finally connect with someone here, right? Like it could be like you take a different route home while you're walking and you bump into this person. Like the universe brings us people in so many different ways. So just know that they are interested. They are trying to show you that they um, have feelings for you here, but they worry a lot. They're in their head. So let's see their intentions though. Because they come off as very like willing to wait and compromise and not, you know, not argue at all costs here. But let's see, what is this person's true intentions? There's that king of wands again. They really want to show you that they're confident in themselves. Um, five of swords, yeah, because they overthink. They actually like self-sabotage sometimes. They get into their own head. This could even be someone, Gemini, who's very good looking on the outside, who you might assume gets a lot of attention in some ways, or, you know, their confidence is not, they're not faking it. But in reality, I feel like this person actually like struggles a lot internally. They self-sabotage. They don't know if they're good enough. Um, so they're trying to heal that. Look at that, the star. Aquarius energy here. This is someone who's trying, the, the inside is trying to match the outside, so to speak. Um, again, because you might look at someone, see their outside and be like, wow, okay, like, you know, they're fairly good looking. They seem really, you know, happy with themselves, happy with life. Um, they must just be good over there. That's not actually what's happening. So this person is, is hopeful that they can move past that, but also that something can happen between the two of you here. Tell me more about the star. The King of Swords, the Three of Wands and the High Priestess, Pisces energy. This is someone who's like, you know, I'm trying to say what I need to say in the moment. Because this is that type of person where like, like I said, they might people please, they might fawn, they might say yes to things they don't want to in the moment and then later think of things later on. This is someone who's like, I just need to say what I need to say in the moment. When it comes to how I feel, when it comes to what I want, when it comes to where I see this going, I just feel some sort of strong energy here between me and Gemini. I just need to let them know. I should have followed my intuition here instead of overthinking everything, right? Um, the King of Swords is confident in what they say. They can come across as a little bit like detached sometimes, right? But this person is, is like, okay, I need to just speak up. I need to just say it. I need to just do what I need to do here. Um, the time is now. They feel like you give them some sort of confidence here. I don't know if it's because you speak your truth all the time, Gemini, but you, you know when you like are around a, a certain energy, a friend or whoever it might be, and you're like, I just feel like I could do anything with them. Like I can say maybe what I wouldn't say alone or something like that. That's how this person feels with you. You give them this like confidence boost. Um, could be a Pisces. What's the potential outcome? I get curious about that. So it looks like they're just really trying to overcome their own insecurities here. Um, we did get the Nine of Wands, not, uh, Four of Wands, the Wounded Warrior here. However, there is movement. I feel like the two of you are sort of, we got the King of Pentacles, lots of masculine energy here. So this person is really trying to impress you, really trying to take the lead here, really trying to show you like, you know, um, they can step up here as well. It doesn't have to be a male. Even though there's this hesitancy, and maybe this is from you too, Gemini, this hesitancy to be like, you know, I've been I've been down this road before, I know how this goes. It's like also wanting to take that next step to be like, okay, like, well, I can't be guarded forever. Where's that gonna get me, right? So this person could be very generous with you, very generous with their time, with their resources. Um, this King of Pentacles, yeah, is a, is someone who's very well established, very generous with what they have, right? They've built a life for themselves and they want to share it. So it looks like this person definitely wants to do that here with you. Maybe they were sort of like testing a little bit here. Like, you know, do you feel the same? Do I feel safe with Gemini? Um, it looks like yes. The Nine of Wands is still here. Tell me about that. The Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Wow. You know what I just immediately got? I don't know if it's you or them. Someone wonders, like, would this person be happier continuing to just have fun and be more casual and be more light? 
Like, is that where their true happiness lies? Like, again, if they see you as someone who's very spontaneous, not putting roots down, like, they don't want to take that away from you, um, Gemini. This isn't someone who would ever be like, you need to stop doing those things or stop hanging out with the, those people or whatever it might be. But they just wonder if you would be truly happy without it, um, is what I'm getting. Hmm. There's also this energy here with, I don't know if it's you or this person feeling like, like maybe undeserving, you know, like even though there is this bliss between the two of you, and I do see this going somewhere, even if it is just friendship, like just feeling really good. There's kind of like these underlying thoughts of like, is this too good to be true? Is this, you know, was this really meant for me? Maybe there's someone else that could make them happier or have more fun with them or something like that. Like there's kind of like these, yeah, like these sort of thoughts of, like fear-based thoughts, I guess you could say. But I do see good times here. I do see, you know, happiness here. I do see success. But someone's still kind of wondering if it's real. Um, how will... I wanted to call you Scorpio. How will Gemini know who this is? How will Gemini know who this is? Eight of Wands chariot could be someone at a distance who comes to travel to see you it doesn't have to be the empress you know at the end of the day this is someone who has a lot of love to give i feel um they like to take care i've got immediately got virgo energy even though this is taurus and libra um this could be someone who just likes to nurture likes to take care is like a, kind of like a fixer a little bit um, and while that can be beautiful energy to have someone who's just will always be there for you again I kind of get a little bit of like like it could be even like codependency with this person like they'll just be like whatever you want I'll do um, Things could move pretty quickly with this person or they just like to talk a lot <laughs> so That's what I'm getting um, Any advice? Wow, we got the two of cups. This is a soulmate. This is a strong bond. You are feeling that for a reason. So maybe it's you here with the, the fear of abandonment um, energy, the fear of this person could leave me. So that's why I don't want to put roots down. The fear of this person could, you know, change their mind or um, it's not actually what they say it is. There's inner sort of um, beliefs here, Gemini, that you are being asked to reflect on and overcome because there is some sort of strong bond here with that two of cups that you feel with this person. This is my soulmate card. This is someone, I believe we have multiple soulmates. This is someone who just, you just feel some sort of pull towards them, but you might be in this energy of, well, I'm not trying to get hurt. I'm not trying, I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm trying to have fun right now, um, which you can have fun with this person, but they kind of wonder like, would you have fun with just me? Would you be okay with just me? Um, so there is that there. And so Spirit's kind of asking you to tap into maybe some of your own thoughts of um, being left behind or not being good enough or something like that. You could even worry because if this person is coming with the King of Pentacles energy, you could even worry like maybe financially you, you aren't able to give to them what they could give to you. But they don't like, I feel like they don't even worry about that. Um, we have Leo energy here. Only take what resonates. Do you get the month of August? So it could be something coming up, a birthday, significant date, um, maybe something already passed in August from last year. Ring, a marriage will take place either romantic or business. Wow. So, I mean, the four of wands can speak to that next big step, whatever that, I don't know. I don't know if you'd marry this person right away, but... Um, and then we got dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Um, only take that if it resonates. Wow. So for some of you, this could result in some sort of marriage here. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. So no need to worry. Um, Gemini, oh, let's see. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. And I feel like you will receive that with the Ten of Cups there. That's a beautiful energy to get in a potential outcome. Moon changes in your life. And handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Right? So this could just happen out of nowhere. Again, maybe it's through someone else or something like that. Um, pay attention. 
Wallflower, limited potential, shy, withholding. Again, could be you, could be this person. Career, business, success, advancement. And spiritual growth, learning, expanding the soul. Did you see Ice Queen on the bottom? Now, I know the Queen of Swords didn't come out, but maybe some of you are in this energy, you know, sort of being a little bit detached, a little cold, not wanting to put down roots, just having fun, having a good time. That's usually when we're not looking for anything. That's usually when it comes along. <laughs> um, look at it, within the next few months. So again, we did get August coming out, and now we got the next few months. So definitely something happening here, Gemini. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So not letting pride or ego get in the way either. Um, that also came through, I think, for Cancer, Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Cancer, this could be something in that reading for you. Oh, we got a lot here. Okay, you got Earth School. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. So remembering that everything that's going on here in your earthly experience, um, Gemini is helping you grow, helping you learn. You to get spiritual growth as well. Um, the Seven Star Sisters, Birth and Creations, Tapestry of Life, Expression. Let me just see what that says. The Seven Star Sisters. What new creations are you being called to birth? There are new creations that want to be born, beauty that's yearning to be woven, new consciousness that's longing to be breathed into life. If you draw this card, you're being called to surrender to these creations, to usher in a new era of consciousness and do your bit of weaving in the web of life. Okay. And then you also got a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. So whatever that vision is for yourself, um, Gemini, don't give up on it. You just got thinker. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> thinker. You're a deep thinker, Gemini. But let's see. Love is not logical. But when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy. No matter what, in this case, the facts are the facts. Hmm. So indulging in a fantasy could even be too, like, sometimes our fantasies are like catastrophizing. Things could go wrong, right? If facts are facts, if this person is coming towards you, Again, it seems like very, very honest energy. I don't get any manipulation. I don't get any sneakiness from this person. I get that they just struggle internally more than anything. Um, that might be hard to believe based on your past, right? But um, yeah, sort of taking time to reflect and think. I mean, I hope that helps, Gemini. But if you still have questions, check out my link below in the description box for mystic sense there you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes will be completely free um i also have some letters and some numbers here so these could be initials of you of this person maybe numbers you've been seeing birth dates significant dates take it as it resonates if something doesn't resonate though it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading so we got r x Y, A, F, the number two, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Gemini, so I hope something resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.